welcome to the lecture series on uh, numerical methods and uh, in numerical methods we are discussing on uh, interpolation so in the interpolation section we have discussed uh, like uh, different uh, operators so today we will discuss about uh, this uh, central difference formulas first uh, we will discuss about uh, this uh, gauss backward difference interpolation formula then uh, gauss forward difference uh, uh, formula then uh, we will just go for uh, Stalling central difference approximation and Bessel's uh, central difference approximation with an example. So, in the last class also we have uh, given uh, little hints about the Gauss uh, backward difference formula where usually we are just using even differences of y0 and odd differences of y of minus half where the formula for this uh, Gauss backward difference formula is expressed in the form like yp or y of xp can be written as a0 y0 a1 delta y of uh, minus half a2 delta square y0 a3 delta q y of minus half so likewise if you will just uh, express this left hand side of y of xp as y of uh, x0 plus p is here then it can be expressed in the form of e to the power p of y0 which can be written as 1 plus delta whole to the power p of y0 here and uh, if we will write the right hand side expression here in the coefficient form like a1 delta y of minus half it can be expressed as a1 delta e of minus half y0 here Similarly, if we will express here a3 delta q y of minus half, it can also be expressed as a3 delta q e to the power minus half of y0 here. So, if you will just express in the coefficients as y0 here, then both the sides can be expressed as a operator here. So, operator means we can just express this left hand side in the form of 1 plus delta whole to the power p, this can be expressed as right hand side is a0 plus a1 delta e power minus half plus a2 delta square plus a3 e to the power minus half plus as in this form here. So, now we can just express delta e to the power minus half in the form of a delta expansion here and delta q e to the power minus half also in the form of uh, like delta here then if you will just equate both the sides coefficients then we can obtain the values for a0 a1 a2 and a3 and where we can just find the exact formula for newton's sorry this is gauss backward formula so if you will just expand 1 plus delta whole to the power p here as lh side here so in the lh side we can just write 1 plus delta whole power p as your first will be 1 then p delta plus p del square by factorial 2. So, likewise we can just express. So, this will be like a p into p minus 1 here. So, like p into p minus 1 by factorial 2 del square here. So, likewise we can just express. And if we will just express this uh, right hand side terms here delta e to the power minus half in terms of uh, like delta here, we can just uh, express that one in the form e to the power half minus e to the power minus half since already we have known that this central difference operator delta can be expressed as e power of half minus e power of minus half. And if we want to write this term delta e power of minus half here, we can just write e power of half minus e to the power minus half here into e to the power minus half. And if we want to express this one in the form of a capital delta here, so we can just write this term as e to the power half minus e to the power minus half into e to the power half into e to the power minus 1 here. So, this means that if you will just take the product here, we can just obtain e minus 1 here and this is this one we can just write e to the power minus 1 which can be expressed in the form of like delta into 
1 plus delta whole inverse and which can be expressed as a delta by 1 plus delta here. Similarly, we can just express rest of the terms like uh, delta q e to the power minus half in this form of uh, capital delta, then all other terms also it can be expressed. So, if you will just express all these terms, this can be represented in the form of like delta square can be expressed as a delta square by 1 plus delta, delta q can be expressed as a delta q by 1 plus delta whole square and delta to the power 4 can be expressed as delta, delta to the power 4 by 1 plus delta whole square and uh, delta to the power 5 e to the power minus half it can be expressed as a delta to the power 5 by 1 plus delta whole q. So, if you will just put all these coefficients in both the sides then we can just obtain a 0 value s 1 there and uh, to obtain the values of uh, remaining coefficients like a 1 if we will just multiply 1 plus delta in both the sides then we can just obtain this uh, coefficients as in the form of 1 plus p plus 1 into delta plus p into p plus 1 by factorial 2 delta square. So, this will be the left hand side and in the right hand side we can just put that one as since a 0 equals to 1 there. So, this can be expressed as 1 into 1 plus delta plus a 1 delta square plus a 2 delta q plus likewise. So, if you will just uh, see here the complete expression for uh, this uh, Newton's backward difference formula can be written in the form like 1 plus p plus 1 delta plus p into p plus 1 by factorial 2 delta square this equals to 1 into 1 plus delta plus a 1 delta square plus a 2 delta q likewise we can just write and if you will just uh, multiply by this factor like 1 plus delta here. So, we can just write this coefficient that as 1 plus p plus 1 delta and uh, this can be written as like both the sides if you will just take common here like 1 plus p plus 1 delta here and if we will just equate the coefficient of delta and delta square we can just obtain a 1 value as p here. Since, if you can just uh, see here like 1 into 1 plus delta and this right hand side and left hand side it can just cancel it out and we can just obtain this values a 1 as p and a 2 equals to like a permutation of p plus 1 to there. And again multiplying like a 1 plus delta whole square then some of these coefficients again we can just get it up as a 3 and a 4 there where this a 3 can be expressed as a p plus 1 3 and a 4 can be expressed as a p plus 2 4. Proceeding in this manner, we can just obtain this coefficients for uh, 2 m minus 1 power and uh, 2 m there and a 2 m minus 1 can be expressed as since we are just uh, taking this differences here p plus m 2 m minus 1 minus p plus m minus 1 2 m minus 2 this can be given as p plus m minus 1 2 m minus 1 there and a 2 m can be represented as p plus m and 2 m there for m equals to 1, 2, 3 likewise we can just consider these values. Finally, if you will just uh, put all these uh, coefficients a 1, a 2, a 3 then we can just obtain this formula as in the form of y p equals to y 0 plus p delta y of minus half plus p plus 1, 2 delta square of y 0. So, this will be the formula for Gauss backward difference formula and uh, if we are just going for this uh, Gauss forward central difference formula then we can just uh, choose these coefficients as this forward marching steps like if you will just write these coefficients that we can just write y p as a 0 y 0 a 1 delta y of half a 2 delta square y 0, A 3 delta q y of half. So, likewise we can just write where these coefficients A 0, A 1, A 2, A 3 are to be determined and if you will just use this same relationship here like this coefficient we can just replace here delta e to the power half of y 0 and this coefficient it can be taken as delta q e to the power half of y 0 
So, then we can just express both the sides in the form of uh, like a forward difference operator as the coefficients operated on y0 there. So, if you will just write it in, it in operator form, we can just write this say uh, left hand side that as 1 plus p delta plus p into p minus 1 by factorial 2 delta square plus p into p minus 1 into p minus 2 by 3 factorial delta q this equals to a0 plus a1 delta plus a2 delta square by 1 plus delta a3 delta q by 1 plus delta a4 delta to the power 4 by 1 plus delta whole square plus up to like finite number of terms. If you will just compare these coefficients on both the sides like delta to the power 0 and delta to the power 1 here, then we can just obtain a0 as 1 and a1 as p. And uh, if you will just multiply both the sides by 1 plus uh, capital delta, then we can just uh, obtain the values of a2 as the permutation of p2 and a3 as permutation of p plus 1, 3 there. So, likewise, if you will just uh, multiply 1 by 1, we can obtain rest of the coefficients like a 2 m, a 2 m plus 1 and we can just write this Gauss forward formula as y p equals to y 0 plus p delta y of half plus p plus 1 sorry p 2 here delta square of y 0 plus p plus 1 3 delta q of y of half. So, this one. So, if we will take the average of uh, these two schemes, then we can just uh, obtain this stalling central difference formula. This means that this formula uses y 0 and its even differences plus average of the odd differences of y of minus half and y of half. Hence, the formula can be expressed in the form like y p equals to a 0 y 0 plus a 1 mu delta y 0. Since we are just taking the average of this uh, odd terms here, so that is why this mu operator is assigned in the odd terms here and even terms are remained in that scale only. So, where these coefficients like a 0, a 1, a 2, a 3 are the constants to be determined and mu is the average operator here, where mu can be expressed as e to the power half plus e to the power minus half by 2. If you will just uh, express this one in constant coefficients form, then we can just uh, obtain this values of a 0 as 1 here and uh, rest of the coefficients will be expressed in the form of like a to m minus 1 as permutation of p plus m minus 1 by 2 m minus 1 and a 2 m as half of uh, like average terms we are just considering for this uh, or terms here. So, that is why we can just consider p plus m 2 m plus p plus m plus 1 2 m where m will be vary from 1 to like finite number of terms. So, if you will just expand these terms here, then we can just obtain this coefficients as a 2 m equals to p square into p square minus 1 square into p square minus 2 square of 2 p square minus m minus 1 whole square by 2 m factorial here. So, putting the all these values we can obtain this uh, Stallings central difference formula as y p equals to y 0 plus p mu delta of y 0 plus p square by 2 factorial delta square of y 0 plus p plus 1 3 mu delta q of y 0 plus p square into p square minus 1 square by 4 factorial delta to the power 4 y 0 here plus up to the finite number of terms whatever this term so where we want to truncate the series. So, up to that term we can just consider in the series expansion. So, next we will just go for uh, Bessel's central difference formula where we will just uh, use the opposite of this uh, Stallings formula. This means that we can just consider the average of odd differences is used in Stallings formula, but here we can just use this average of the even differences. This means that in the a 0 term, a 2 term, a 4 term, we can just use this average operators there. Hence, this formula can be represented in the form of y 0 equals to a 0 mu y of half plus a 1 delta y of half plus a 2 mu delta square y of half. So, likewise we can just express 
and uh, where these coefficients like a0, a1, a2, a3, a4, etc., are constants, and we can just uh, determine by expanding both the series expansions. Like, if you will just consider like y of xp equals to as uh, one plus delta whole to the power p, and we can just equate both the sides coefficients. Then we can obtain the values for this uh, a0, a1, a2, a3, a4, etc. So if we we want to expand this one, so we have to keep in mind that this average operators like mu e of half, it can be written in the form, since this term here we can just write mu e of half of y0 and uh, this term also it can be written as mu delta square of e of half here. So if we want to expand this term here, we can just write since we are just uh, operating mu operator on e to the power half here. So, we can just write this one as e to the power half plus e to the power minus half by 2 into e to the power half here. Here also the same thing we can just use since we are just uh, using this operator on delta square e to the power half here. So, first we can just write this one as e to the power half plus e to the power minus half by 2 into your central difference operator delta square sorry this here. Uh, central difference operator delta square then e to the power half here. So, if you will just multiply these terms here first we will just get e then plus 1 by 2 here and uh, rest of the terms we can just uh, equate and uh, just equa equate with both the sides and we can just obtain these coefficients that in the form of like uh, delta e to the power half it can be written as uh, delta there capital delta and a delta square can be written as a delta square by 1 plus delta already we have discussed these things in the earlier slides and a delta to the power 4 can be expressed as a delta to the power 4 by 1 plus delta whole square there. And if you will just put all these uh, terms in terms of a capital delta here and equate both the sides then we can just obtain this coefficients a0 as 1, a0 by 2 plus a1 as p then we can just get since a0 is a 1 there, so a1 can be computed as p minus half here and if you will just multiply both the sides 1 plus uh, capital delta throughout the equation and comparing the coefficients for uh, delta square and delta q, we can just obtain p plus a2 as p into p plus 1 by 2 factorial and a2 as uh, the permutation of p plus 1 2 minus p1, this equals to permutation of p2. Similarly, we can just obtain this uh, coefficients for a3 and a4. In general term, if you want to write a to m, that can be written as p plus m plus 1 to m there. And a to m plus 1, this can be written as permutation of p plus m minus 1 to m into p minus half by 2 m plus 1. And if you, we will just put all these coefficients and rewrite this formula, the formula can be written in the form of y p equals to mu y of half plus p minus half delta y of half plus p to mu delta square y of half. So, likewise we can just write. So, with these formulas uh, we can just uh, uh, try to solve uh, some of these problems like uh, for a defined example it is just given that. Uh, Suppose the values of e to the power x are tabulated at uh, different points starting from 1.00 to 2.0 with the incremental size uh, 0 0.20 and it is asked you to evaluate this value at uh, 1.44 here. So, if we want to evaluate this value at 1.44, we have to consider this value along the center of the table here since the tabular values are expressed as uh, uh, if you will just see. So, if we want to uh, uh, discuss about this uh, central difference approximations, so we have to consider this uh, value along the center of the table only. So, that is why the value it is asked here is 1.44 which is uh, lying between 1.40 and 1.60 in the tabular values. So, if this is the value then first we can just find this uh, divided difference form here like a forward differences form if you will just take the differences. So, we can just find first difference, second difference, third difference, fourth difference and fifth difference here. Since the points are in the middle of the table, we will use this uh, central difference formula like a uh, Stallings formula or Bessel's formula here 
and if we'll just consider x equals to 1.44 by choosing x0 equals to 1.40 here, we can just obtain this values of v that has form of like 1.44 minus 1.40 by 2.0, where this formula for p can be used as x equals to x0 plus p h, where x can be chosen as like 1.44 here. And uh, from that formula itself, we are just getting p as 0 0.2. And if you will just use this formula, we can just uh, obtain this uh, value as uh, 4.22068. And uh, especially if you will just see here, we are just using these values that is a delta y of half plus delta y of minus half since we are just using the central difference approximations. And in the central difference approximation, if you will just see that this average operator is operating on delta operator here, delta of y of half means it can just take the values of y1 minus y0, y of uh, minus half means it can just take y0 minus y of minus 1. Since the tabular values are associated like y of minus 3, y of minus 2, y of minus 1, y0, then y1, y2, y3. So, as I have discussed in the earlier classes, the similar fashion we can just choose this data values and we if you will just put in a proper form, then we can just uh, use this uh, forward difference table to get the central difference values here easily and in a comfortable form. Till now, we have ended up uh, all these uh, formulations uh, that uh, formed by the central difference approximations and uh, we have solved the examples based on this central difference approximations also. In the next lecture, we will just go for some other interpolation formulas to compute this functional values and the polynomial approximations. Thank you for listening this lecture.